Hey everybody, Jeffrey Beamer here with Elliott Wave Options with your Pro Trader Tip of the Week. Well, I'm going to begin a series on volatility and really focus in on how to trade volatility uh, using options. So this week we're going to talk on a, on a broad scale. There's two types of volatility. There's statistical volatility, and that's the volatility you can see in this chart. You can see price on Etsy. Uh, moving up and then moving down. That is called statistical volatility, also known as historical volatility. And then when it comes to the options, there's a different type of volatility, and that's called implied volatility. Now, implied volatility looks at really the future, and it's what option market makers and those involved in the sector look at um, and how they price options. So here we have Etsy and we have an earnings announcement coming up in about a week. The last date here is February 15th. And in, um, so in about a week, we had a earnings event. And so how we played this was with, what I wanted to do was around earnings, implied volatility gets larger, uh, it, gets, it gets more expensive and that makes options more expensive. So how we handle this on a stock like Etsy that just typically does not really move much around earnings, there are certain strategies that we deploy to take advantage of this. So I wanna talk about trade ID 1013, that's 1013. This was a trade on Etsy and it was put on in advance of its earnings event. We opened the trade on February 15th and we put on an iron condor. Now, the reason for this, as I mentioned, is we're heading into earnings and implied volatility makes the option premium more expensive and we want to sell. Traditionally, we want to sell expensive options. And so here we centered our, um, our trade around price right now. The light blue line above and below is our break even. And we entered the trade for a net credit of $1.19. Now our risk on the trade was $3.81. That is based upon a $10,000 trading account. So we were risking about 3.8% on portfolio uh, to make about 1.19%. The reason why we would do this is this is a high probability trade, a high probability of success. So let's fast forward a week and go through the earnings event. Earnings happen on February 22nd, uh, I believe, yes, February 22nd. And I'll bring up, you can see the chart here, uh, the chart on the left. Uh, you can see that Etsy did have its earnings event and dropped, the stock dropped about seven, a little over 7% on the announcement. But as you can see, that was well within the break-evens of our trade. So the result of this trade was that we were able to make, um, we closed this trade out for a profit of $112. So 112 out of the 119, that generated almost a 30% return in just a week. Just six days we were in this trade and generated a 30% return on risk and a 1.12% return on portfolio. So this is how we trade around earnings events with a certain strategy on stocks that just don't have a lot of statistical movement through their earnings. So that's it for today. Hope everyone has a great week and we'll talk to you again soon. Take care.